So yesterday I was remote video editing and I wanted to know how painful it would be. Um, it, it turns out it wasn't that bad because I wasn't very stuttery in this video. But I edited two videos before that. One of them was in a car using a, my phone's mobile hotspot. And that was very painful because it was like a one second delay in between every mouse command and the response to your actual computer. And it got worse at some times, but it was averaging out at about one second. Um, and I recorded some of it um, last night, no, the night before when I was editing. And yeah, that'll be at the end of this video. But in short, it's not painful. Um, that shouldn't be there anymore. I had a different plan for this video. Um, but yeah, it, it's not that bad. It's better than spending a thousand plus dollars on a laptop for editing videos. Like, I, I legitimately could have used my phone. That's how, that's how easy it was. Um, I used Chrome Remote Desktop. And yeah, I need to blur out that bit there with my email on it. Not on this one because it's not a high enough resolution, thankfully. And yeah, it, it's really not terrible. It's, it, yeah, it's just fine. I wouldn't, it's not ideal. It is better to have the thousand dollar laptop to edit off of. But using this powerhouse here, it it's really a lot easier. So yeah. Thanks for watching. Um, I'll have the clip I recorded at the end of the video. Um, I was going to go through and edit all the parts where I actually had to edit, but that would have only been like three bits. So, yeah. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye. is my map. It is Egg War slash... Hello there, this is my map. It is Egg War slash Bed War slash whatever you want to call it. And I've spent way too much time on it. Um, I recommend playing on 16 chunks, um, however I just cranked it up to 32 so you could see the entire thing. That might take a while though, because it is a very, very big map. Um, here's my... Well, actually... Here's my most recent edition. Um, my brother worked on it with me, but I did a lot of the work. Um, he just did the bottoms of those islands, which was very helpful because I suck at them. But yeah, so here is the spawn. Um, there's not much here. Oops. <laughs> Don't walk off the edge. That was a design flaw. I will admit that. But whatever. So here we got our rules board. Don't break. Uh, don't break, craft anything, or get mad when someone kills you. That's added because of my brother raging whenever someone kills him. Don't be a noob, however, noobs are okay. Try to capture slash break the other team's emerald block. Buy things in the shop to help you win. Have fun. Created by Synthetic Media Group with help from Pro Killer underscore or pro, uh, pro underscore Killer 999 and Patchy Sid, my brother. Yes, that's me. So yeah. Um, if you come on over to here, this is your beginning map. Basically entertain you if you're waiting for your friends to join in. So, this is that. That just teleports you back to spawn. This one brings you to that map there, and this one brings you to the desert temple. Now, this one is the most simple, um, in command block style, and literally everything else. This one literally just says, at P, the nearest player, joined yellow very simple compared to the others. <laughs> Believe me, I, I wrote the stuff and the commands. I did all the commands myself. Um, it took a very long time, including the fail safes for all the emerald blocks. So yeah, that was very painful. So here you can see you have a gold spawner, a diamond spawner, and an emerald sp or a, a, a iron spawner. Now, I'm just now realizing how much of an oversight this was, but um, you may want to head over to the abandoned building map or the desert temple map and click this button, press before every game, because that should, if I'm correct, clear all the 
spawns down here. Yes, because now there aren't any diamonds. Um, because otherwise you'll have stacks upon stacks of items. And if you're getting lag, definitely go press that button over there or the one over there. So, as you can tell, this is the most basic map. This was built first. That one was built second. Second most advanced map. So let's head on over to that one. It's fairly simple. It didn't take much to design. It took a lot of work to design. It's still not even done, actually. Um, this this isn't even fully active. It's it's just kind of a middle point right now. It doesn't spawn anything. <laughs> However, I don't think that's in the most recent version, so you don't, shouldn't have to worry about that. But what this does, this, these signs or command blocks here are makes you join a team titled Green, and then it makes you teleport to your respective island. Now, at the time, we didn't know, well, I didn't know, what um, MC Edit was, so we just used the clone command. Not the best in hindsight, um, because islands facing very different directions. However, whatever, that island, or that map fixed it, although it wasn't as necessary with that one. <laughs> um, well, I'm working on fixing this one. Next patch. Um, yeah, so... It's recommended that one player is always choo uh, one player always chooses red. Now the reasoning behind this is, can you guess? Well, see all those command blocks over there. That's not actually used for anything. That's um, me testing the level item level up system because I don't want to have to use plugins. Um, these are shops. Um, here you can see all of our blocks. Actually, these aren't used anymore, are they? No, these ones aren't even used anymore, because we had to move them below the islands. But, you'll see in these shops, some of them have emeralds above them. These, I believe, are for that one over there. Those emerald blocks. And these ones, actually maybe they... No, those ones are for that one, those emerald blocks, which I think are now under the island. And then these spawn all of your items. So, here we got our iron. Um, which is also here, just as reference commands for me in the future, which I did use for current maps. And this one doesn't look like it's being used for anything, but it is. Um, and here we have our diamond. Now, if you wanted to modify any of the speeds of your item spawning, you just have to make these command or these uh, repeaters longer, which is the nice part about the map. Um, is it's very customizable fairly easily, you just have to get in the creative, and luckily I'm not one of those people who lock you into one game mode. These are for this map, those are for that map. Um, that map was kind of just a proof of concept at first. Um, yeah. Um, this is once again just the testing thing. It's just test the spawning. I'm not anywhere close to being finished with that. But you'll see under here, it has none of the emerald stuff. That's because it's close enough to the command blocks that it doesn't glitch out all the other emerald blocks. Um, however, it does occasionally still glitch with these islands, but apparently that's not in the most recent patch. Okay, so you definitely do need to have one player at red. Actually, okay, apparently, apparently part of it is, but part of it isn't. So, here's what it looks like. Um, yeah. So, tour aside of my stupid amount of command block work, press this before every game. What it does is, it de uh, it deletes any item with on the ground within a thousand blocks. So that also includes that map, that uh, that map, and pretty much everything else. Then, let's see, it resets all the scoreboards for everyone. Then it makes everyone leave their team pretty nice and needed. So then when you select your team, you, um, it doesn't really matter which one you choose, like let's choose red. Um, you'll see, I'm okay that wouldn't work, but my name is now red because the team is set up in a way that makes it turn red. So then I click that and that should fix that. So that's this map, or this part of the map. And then, to return back to spawn, press the back to spawn button. So now that we're back at spawn, this one's pretty self-explanatory. Then we can go to the desert temple map. 
This one took significantly longer than any of the other maps because of how glitchy it was. We do have more coming soon. It might get expanded beyond these two, but, you know, I will work on more soon. Schoolwork, YouTube, all the other stuff makes it really hard. So, um, you may be wondering how is this working. There's a, an invisible block there. That's it. So this, this one is only for pressing if you fail to join teams in time. This just sets a redstone block. Actually, what does it do? Okay, let me make sure I'm reading this correctly. Okay, so basically, if I remember correctly, this just at reactivates a failsafe in these. So now, the problem with these maps are, and it actually isn't activated right now, that shouldn't be a problem on the main one, but the problem with this map is it's so big that if one command, blocks uh, if one command block becomes unloaded, it can destroy literally the entire map. Well, not literally the entire map. It can mess up every other command block. So the point in having that one there is to basically prevent it from breaking the emerald blocks. Um, you know, because that's generally pretty bad because that instantly means you lost. So now if we were to go down there, we'd see that there is a redstone block around each of those deactivating the failsafe. Um, however, when you press this, this is a very complicated one, as you can see. I almost went swastika. That wouldn't have been at all intentional, but I realize how close it is. Whoops. <laughs> um, this one, if you don't join all teams in time, press the button again. It will reset everything and clear everyone's inventory. Press before each game. Before pressing, ensure you know which team you want to be on as the map starts after the countdown. It does. So here, this deletes all items within a thousand blocks. This one resets all the scoreboards. This one does something. I'm not sure what it does, but it wouldn't be there if it wasn't needed. Oh, these ones are um, removing the redstone blocks that that one places. Yes, I'm stupid. So now, this one makes you leave your teams. This one makes you reset the teams. Clears inventories, and then it says say, uh, that chooses teams. It says, uh, I'm really stuttery right now. Then it says, choose teams in five seconds. Well, five dot dot dot. Then it gets over here, four dot dot dot, three dot dot dot, two dot dot dot, one dot dot dot, and go. I found that that's a, each one of those is, <coughs> I found Dot, two, dot, 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 one, dot, 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 and go. I found that each one of these is about one second. Um, however, I'm not entirely sure if that was 100% accurate. So then, after doing all this stupidly complicated stuff, make sure you press this, then click this one, then it'll start counting down, then click one of the teams, that is not the right one, click, I'm going to do blue, and then you generally want to click the team when it says go, but it doesn't really matter, then click that, you know, or get all your stuff, and then go to the shop and it's unlocking infinite amounts of recipes, which is really annoying. Then you have your blocks, you have wool, um, spruce, obsidian, um, glass, then you have your tools, and then you have your weapons and armor. Um, it goes forever. Then you have your others, which is food, um, buffs, ender pearls, fishing rods, water, um, which is very highly priced because it annoys me when people use it in the real game. Yeah, okay, this one's also broken, but yeah, uh, um, I'll be ha I'll be sure to fix that before the next patch for this comes out, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.